Coding on a tablet like an iPad might seem impossible back in the day, but these days there are tools and apps out there that really challenge this assumption. So I wanted to see if it's possible to set up my iPad as my dedicated machine for everything from coding to checking emails to making websites and even building apps. This is something that I was always interested in ever since I was able to get VS Code set up on my iPhone to start coding. I did that video up here, you can check out. But this is taking it to another level. It's making sure that I don't have to switch between my computer, my laptop, my devices, because that can become a hassle sometimes and having just a single device for everything could be really cool. But I don't know if I can even do this, so let's find out. The first thing I did was jump on my iPad to see if there are any existing apps. I looked up terms like code editor and it actually came up with quite a few. The problem was that a lot of them require you to FTP into the machine to be able to edit. I don't want that, that seems too difficult. But since there weren't any other solutions, I gave it a try. I'm using an app called Coder Code Editor, which has FTP and a couple of other features which we'll check out. I have over 100 websites I manage, so I created an FTP account and logged in. And I failed to log in over and over until I figured out I had caps lock on. FTP is never my favorite thing, but when I finally got it working, I was pretty happy. As any good developer, the very first thing I did was turn on dark mode. Now I can actually take a look at what it's like trying to code on my iPad. And the first thing I found out is that it's actually not that easy. While normally I'm pretty good at touch typing, typing on an iPad and trying to do some code on there just doesn't work very well. After getting frustrated, I gave up on it pretty quickly and moved over to using the Apple Magic Keyboard for iPad. And while this keyboard or case is pretty much as heavy as the iPad, I'm ready to go. I'm gonna give this a solid test by actually doing some development on a WordPress site where I'm putting together a custom form that's going to email some information. Now, when I was testing this out, I did notice a few things. The first is actually it was quite useful to be able to code and touch on the screen where I wanted my cursor to go. But one thing that was a little bit annoying was switching between windows because it just didn't feel very intuitive. And maybe that's just because I haven't gotten used to it just yet. I did try doing a split screen, that's where you have the browser on one side and the code on the other, but the problem with that is that you just don't have much real estate to work with, and sometimes switching between each one also has a bit of an issue where the touch just doesn't work. But after a bit of trial and error, I sort of got it to work, and I don't mind it either. It's another day, and I had a suggestion from a friend to use my tablet to remote into my home computer. There's great apps for this like TeamViewer and others. And having a look, I noticed that TeamViewer actually has quite a few bad reviews. So I decided to try something different out. I found one called Jump Desktop. And this is an application which had some really good five-star reviews. It requires me to install a small application on the computer as well as the tablet. But once it's done, it's pretty much a one-click login and I'm able to access my desktop computer immediately. It had a number of cool features like being able to run at 60 FPS over the local network, it's faster and over the internet, it works pretty good too. And in terms of having a look at this, I can immediately run up VS Code and continue my coding exactly where I left off when I was working from home. Now I should essentially be able to just pick up my laptop and work from anywhere. So I just went to the kitchen and gave it a shot. And when I tried it out, then yes, it was actually much better than using an FTP program and being able to use my computer. Being able to jump desktop into my favorite computer, which is my home computer, where I have everything set up the way I like is awesome. Then I can pretty much have VS Code running on the iPad with virtualization or my favorite browsers or my environment ready to go. Doesn't matter where I am. I'm gonna try this out over a few days and see how I find it and let you guys know. Using remote desktop over a couple of days at different locations to do different tasks, I found it very useful. Being able to simply remote to my main computer, no matter where I am, is like having a powerhouse in my pocket. My tablet was performing the stuff that I normally would do in terms of building applications and writing code, all in the fingertips of just the iPad, which normally wouldn't be able to do this. It was fast and quick, and to be honest, I don't even need a mouse, the keyboard's enough because all the applications like VS Code have hotkeys enabled, and the only drawback that I was feeling was that the screen size was still a little bit small with the resolution sometimes not fitting in all the windows that I really wanted. What I learned yesterday is that essentially this iPad, while being good, is pretty much impossible to use without a keyboard. So it's looking more like I need something that's very similar to a laptop. But as I move forward and do more development on it, I also found that the screen is a little bit too small. So I'm gonna try and connect it up to a bigger monitor using this cable that I got just over here. 
And this is just a USB-C to HDMI cable. And what it's gonna let me do is connect up this iPad to a 49 inch Samsung screen. I don't even know if this will work, but let's also try and see if it will. So the moment of truth, let's connect up the cable and see what happens. Well, looks like that worked, but not the way I expected. I did get my iPad working on my Samsung screen, but the resolution wasn't quite right. It was either too stretched or cropped from the left and right side, but that's okay. I did figure out a resolution that works, which was just about a 2.5K, but uh, with that resolution, I can do some of my work now. And while this is probably an improvement, it sort of defeats the purpose of using an iPad when I could just use my own computer. Now, I've done this for about a week now and the results are quite surprising. To be honest, I thought at the very start that I wouldn't be able to do it. I was a little bit skeptical of whether it would even be practical. But once I figured out that I could do remote desktop straight into my computer, then using the tablet as the main device, at least when going out, was quite practical. Yes, the keyboard might be missing some of the functionality like the F1 keys, but if you do take a keyboard along, it pretty much covers everything that I need to do that I would normally do on a laptop. So I wouldn't even need to take my laptop with me. The only issues that I really had were sort of like missing out on the mouse, but I don't really use the mouse that often and the screen size was a little bit small, but you can get used to that. Yes, if you're doing responsive design, then having a browser cannot be done in a Chrome window or a Safari window on the iPad. But if you're remote desktop in, then you basically have full control with DevTools. So all of those features come across and you can start using and programming and coding just like you would normally. The other part is that with the iPad, I did like the ability of using the touch screen to be able to tap where I'm writing in my code or check what I'm doing on the browser. So that actually did improve my workflow a tiny bit. And that was a surprising thing I didn't think I'd be doing but otherwise this was a heaps fun experience. Let me know if this is something that you guys enjoyed because if it is, I'd love to do more tests like this to try out how we can test the boundaries of how we traditionally do coding and maybe mix it up a little bit. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. See ya.